guys, this is Praises here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys another tutorial about how to make Cinema 4D renders to add to your artwork. So let's get started. What I have is just the whole kit and caboodle right in front of me, and you're kind of like, well, I don't know what to do. So what you want to do is that you want to start off by editing the render settings. So you go up to this little tab right here with the little gear, click on that bad boy, and then you go to output. So what I like to do is do an HGTV setting which is 1280 by 720 pixels pretty standard and then resolution 72 and the rest you kind of want to leave it as be so then you want to go down to save and then this is where some more of the important parts are you want to click on your file and save it to your desktop I named mine as render just because I don't know I don't want to lose it but next we want to go to the format Sometimes it'll set you on a TIFF, PSD, layer. You can use that, but I prefer to use a PNG just because it's uh, for other reasons, and I'll get into that in a little bit. So next, I like to go to depth, and then leave that as is, 8-bit, just it'll render quicker, so. And that, you don't really need to mess with that. Uh, alpha channel, click that. You need to click that. Make sure that's on, because that'll make your background transparent after you render it, but. These other two, um, keep those two checked if you have it. If not, just bear with me. You don't really need them. But the rest of this, uh, PNG, multipass, make sure that's clicked. And you don't have to touch anything on here. But set this to PNG, um, 8 bit, and leave that as is. And so for these two, here, I'll get rid of them really quick. You want to go down to effect, and then ambient occlusion. What this does is add an overall gradient to your work or your render and it will make it uh, more realistic and more malleable. Just like you can just really just feel it at the end if you know what I mean, dog. Ha! Gay! But then you go to effect, you want it to go to global illumination. What this will do is add more lighting, make it look more realistic, and it'll illuminate your entire globe. But, so now that that's done, you want to click your X, and voila, you have your settings. Okay, now that you've finished with those setting outputs, you can start to develop things. And so if you're new, I'm going to teach you two different ways to make cool things. So I'm going to start with a little block. So I'll use this cube icon right here and click on a cube. So I have a cube right here. And to make this editable, you want to erase the Fong tag. So now that's gone, now it's editable. So now you want to rotate that a little bit and move it. Rotate, move, resize, and then clicker are right here. And these are like your your options tools. It's like in Photoshop where it's normally this side, but it's up here. But anyways, you can just rotate that a little bit and then you want to duplicate your cube by clicking on it, holding control or command if you have a Mac and bring the cube down rotating it and bring it to the side a little bit so this is a little um, array of two different objects and so what you can do is you can add an effect to them so you want to go over to this little tab that's an array click it hold down go to metaball grab both your cubes by holding control or command and clicking on both of them Dragging them into Metaball. So now you have like these little tiny sparkle looking things. So that's cool, but it's not exactly what I want. So you want to zoom out, click on the Metaball, the main group, and change the hole a little bit. You can make it into a ball, you can turn it into a lot of things. So now what I like to do in this Metaball is adjust this whole value bring it up and down and all around just mess with it like that's like the whole thing about Cinema 40 is that you can really just have fun with it just mess around and create different stuff so this is how you just make something like a little blob or this is a cool like you can add like a rock texture but I'll get into materials in a later video but this is just something abstract that you can do and then you can add an array it's the same thing like the same category as a meta ball you make big old blobs like I don't know just something fun that you can do uh, you can make really cool stuff out of things like this and make 
abstract renders and yada 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 but have fun with that but when you do a render like this what you need to do while you have these settings is have a light so this light you just go up here hit the little light bulb and bring this bad boy up and when it goes to like your shadows change it from none to soft uh, the shadow maps you can bring it down a little bit just to make it uh, look a little bit better but I'll render this out really quick just to see what it looks like and I'll get back to you when I see it so one second after I load this really quick two thousand years later okay so now you have this little crusty looking render and you can do whatever you want with that but that's one way that you can make a lot of cool abstract things and play around with it you can make really cool stuff like this you can make like a cool orb or something like in the middle I don't know but that's a really creative way to do something something different people don't like to do different and I don't know why but that's cool and so for the next thing so for the next thing that you like, I like to do is use the spline. So go to this little free hand and click that and you can use all these other ones. It doesn't really matter, but I like to do the free hand and make something like this or more like something like this there. Something more organic and like curved and whatnot. But so then what you do is you go back up to that spline and you can click on any of these. You can really click on any of these closed shapes. I'm going to do the end side one. And bring down the radius a little bit. And so now that you have these two splines, you want to go up to this little nerve. And you want to click on sweep nerve. And you can click on any of these and really change it up however you want it to be. But uh, probably lathe or the sweep would probably be preferred when it comes to this type of work but drag those two up into sweep and you have a little weird object and you can bring down the radius again all of these variables are adjustable so you can really do whatever you whatever your heart desires but bringing down the scale and making it a little bit sharper like this and enlarging it a little bit so we have a little bit bigger thing to look at but Making objects like this, they all depend on your own imagination. So I think that's awesome. Like this whole aspect of this uh, Cinema 4D is that there's really no limitation. Uh, if you guys want to look at some cool things and get some inspiration for like what to make in Cinema 4D, um, Beeple is amazing. He has been doing this for a long time. But making objects like this is really cool, I think. Just just, I don't know, like show off your, your ability to use multiple softwares along with Photoshop and Cinema 4D. It's really more uh, attractive, really more attractive that made so much sense, but um, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's cool. Another thing that you can do is that you can add a atom array, which is, I think is a cool effect, but some people might not, whatever, I don't really care. But grab the sweep, make sure that the whole uh, the other splines are in it, drag it up into atom array, and you have something kind of cool looking like I I have always liked the look of this I think it looks cool nice little skeleton look but here I'll show you different angles of it but you can make like bridges and really cool stuff I think with this but I'll render it out really quick so you guys can see it and I'll be right back okay so now that that is rendered out what you can do is add materials to it but I won't get too deep into the material aspect of all this, but um, now that you've done something like this and you understand like the concept of making something abstract, I mean, there's millions of different options that you can do to make cool, cool things, but materials are really important, especially when it comes to like reflection and specular and things like that, but I'm going to render this out really quick and show you guys how our settings come into play. Um, it's really important that you click this alpha channel just to make it into a uh, PNG and it's transparent at the back. So I'll render this out really quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like in Photoshop. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our render, you guys. Yay, we did it. Um, so now what you can do, you can edit it in multiple different ways. Um, I won't get too in-depth with this, but 
you can do a lot of like different layer styles on it just to make it look more like metallic and such but I've always thought this was like a really cool effect that you can do just adding something like implementing something new to your artwork really is just a cool thing to be able to do in general but uh, hopefully you guys have learned something from this and you can use it to your advantage I would love to see what you guys can do with some of this stuff like I think this is super cool but doing like a metallic layer style or something like this would really help do like a soft light or something but anyways you guys get the gist of it um so hopefully this has helped uh hopefully you guys learn something that's like the main objective when it comes to this kind of stuff but i really appreciate the support i'm really close to 800 subscribers it would be awesome to hit that soon but uh also i've been doing a lot of giveaways and such on my twitter i'll put a link in the description but if you guys would like to enter to win like a free revamp or a free header or a free something, I will be more than happy to do it. Just experimenting different styles, but anyways, that's about it. Uh, subscribe if you're new and like the video if you enjoyed. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Keep it real, my dudes.